let's 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 start with the ceasefire negotiations. Uh, what's your understanding? Where are they? Is there <laughs> is there any negotiations still ongoing? Who are the parties? Is Hamas taking part? Where do we stand? I think we've learned a lot uh, since uh, this terrible execution you just talked about of the six hostages, including that one 23-year-old American citizen, first Goldberg, Poland. What we have learned is, first of all, we weren't close to a deal. Uh, that was something the White House was misleading on or deceiving themselves about, or somebody was deceiving them, whether that was the Qataris or the Egyptians or the Turks or somebody that they've been talking to as an intermediary in these talks. And number two, that the strategy that has been pursued all these months has failed. And I think that there's finally some self-reflection that there's gonna need to be a pressure track and not on Israel, but there has to be actual pressure and, and brought to bear on Hamas and all of its sponsors that the strategy of just pressuring Israel to concede more and more is just oxygen to Hamas, to Yahya Sinwar in Gaza to keep going and not do any deal and turn around instead and commit this horrible nightmare of an execution and then start releasing videos of, of, of their final words to the families to just continue to torment the people in Israel. And so I hope we finally start having some honesty uh, where there has been none for the last few months. Israel has continued to do whatever the United States has asked in these negotiations and Hamas has said no, move the goalposts, basically just messed around because guess what? Who knew? They're a terrorist organization. They're not a legitimate partner in a business deal. And I think we sort of deluded ourselves or some people in this country did for all these months with the way the media has framed this, that there's a real negotiation going on and that we have real intermediaries. The Qataris, the Qataris are sponsors of Hamas. The Hamas leaders live in Qatar. The idea that they're the intermediary, like the Switzerland in this is outrageous. The Egyptians also hosting these talks. We've found now the IDF has discovered after going into Rafa, that southernmost city of Gaza, where these bodies were found, where, by the way, the president and the vice president said not to go for months. Remember, the vice president studied the maps. These hostages apparently weren't on the maps she was shown. Uh, and what else did the Israelis found? Hundreds of tunnels uh, across the border between Egypt and Hamas in Gaza, allowing Sinwar to restock, resupply. So these are two parties that can't be trusted. Our NATO ally, Turkey, is hosting one of the Hamas leaders just gave a big speech, Lebanon, Beirut, where we sent hundreds of millions of dollars for their military. We have a senior advisor at the White House flying in and out of Beirut to talk to the government. We have more Hamas operatives there. So let's let's pull back for a second and say, hey, uh, this month long strategy of just pressuring Israel to do a deal has backfired. Uh, they've executed six hostages. An American has been murdered. Somebody has to be held accountable here. It's not the Israeli. Yeah, I, I think we've, I mean, we've talked about it on the PDB in the past. We've, we've noted the tendency for the White House to be um, optimistic, consistently optimistic about where the negotiations stand. Um, and, you know, to be fair, the Qataris, the Egyptians at times have pushed back and have been uh, much more pessimistic about negotiations. So, you know, we became, I think, somewhat conditioned to hear from the White House. And then, of course, the media was just going along with it that we were close. We were just close. We just needed to get this one last deal done. Um, and that doesn't seem to be the case. Now, the Qataris, to your point, right, they've, they've been playing both sides of the fence for a long time. We've got a very significant military presence in Qatar. Uh, they've also hosted uh, Hamas leadership there. Uh, they've been playing both sides for, for a very long time. So we shouldn't be surprised by that. To, with your understanding of this, at this stage of the game, how many hostages, I know this is almost impossible to answer, but from your perspective and from what you've been hearing and talking to experts about, how many hostages does it appear to be left alive, do appear to be left alive? The last estimate that I got, and, and this has been a few weeks now, because I don't think that they've released any sort of, you know, back of the envelope intelligence estimate, was that roughly two thirds, maybe a half of the hostages that we know are, are still in Gaza uh, are, are likely still alive. Um, if that number is going down, we don't know. Uh, obviously there mm -hmm. are still operations going on. The Israelis before this tragedy had found a hostage alive in a tunnel, uh, a Bedouin, uh, a Muslim uh, Israeli who was brought out uh, and returned home to great celebration. It was a great victory. 
Um, and, and one wonders if part of the equation here from Sinwar was to douse that that feeling of of you know taking a hostage out of Gaza, rescuing a hostage that uh, Hamas is in fact up against the wall here in the 11th hour, uh, and that to turn the tables in psychological warfare, executing the hostages. Uh, but but indeed, you know, uh, there are people there. The Israelis, uh, at any given point, have estimated that some are potentially around Sinwar himself to keep him safe in the tunnels. Uh, other Hamas folks as well. We've noticed a trend a trend over the last few months. If somebody's being kept above ground, the Israelis have sort of figured it out. You've seen rescue operations attempted. Um, you've seen reports about that. When they're in the tunnels, we've had less information flow. Uh, until either they find somebody, they get actionable intelligence and they go in very quickly, um, or they stumble upon something they didn't know was there, like the execution of these six hostages.